Hello everybody, welcome to Country Boy Cooking with Marshall again. I got one for you today, woo. I'm gonna tell you every once in a while on the internet when I'm scrolling through recipes and I scroll through hundreds of them looking for that special one. I have found a special one I want y'all to try because it's absolutely fantastic. I mean, it's so different, so easy to make and it's made with tapioca flour by Red Mill. Have y'all ever used this or anything? It's really like a starch. It's called flour, but underneath here it says also known as tapioca starch. Y'all, we're going to be making Brazilian cheese bread today. I found the recipe on the internet. I went to get this flour, and guess what? Out of all the thousands and thousands of recipes, I'm sure, that tried to get on the back of this, guess what was on the back of it? Yeah, the Brazilian cheese bread. As you can see here, y'all, it makes the most beautiful bread pull apart cheesy. Whew, I'm telling you, it don't get no better than this. Look at the nooks and crannies inside of this thing. Yeah. I'm gonna show all of y'all how to make it today on Country Bull Cooking with Marshall. Okay, it's starting out simple. I got a muffin pan. I'm gonna spray with some cooking oil. Just spray it real good right down in there. Good enough. Now you can also use the bigger muffin pans too. Okay, we're gonna start out with a cup and a half of the tapioca flour. You're gonna be amazed at how good this recipe is, everybody. You really are. There we go. Next, we're going in with one egg. Next, we're going in with a quarter cup of olive oil. Get the olive oil that's made for salads and marinating. Okay, next, we're going in with two thirds cup of whole milk. Two thirds cup, one third, two thirds. Now we're going in with about three quarters of a cup of fresh grated cheddar cheese. Now you can use the cheese of your choice, but if you ever make this, try cheddar first. And lastly, a half teaspoon of salt. Now you can put all of this in a food blender, pulse it up till it's mixed real good, it'll be good enough. But I'm gonna use my whisk attachment for my ninja here. I like this thing. Start it on low. This is gonna blend and whisk that cheese up into this stuff too, everybody. Oh my gosh. Can't wait for y'all to try this one. If you try it, send me some pictures. Okay, that took about two minutes. That's what it looks like. So you can see little chunks of cheese in it. Now we're gonna get our greased muffin pan. Just pour this into each one. I'm filling about three quarters full. It's not gonna fill up all of these. That's where we got it, see that? It's made to be liquidy like that, y'all. These things are fantastic. Now we're going over here to a preheated 400 degree oven for around 20 minutes. I'll see you in 20 minutes. Okay, they're ready, let's go get them. Ooh, look at this, y'all. You talking about good eating. Now we're gonna set them down, let them cool off just a little bit, and I'm gonna show you the inside. We're gonna do a taste test. Okay, everybody, they cooled off to the touch. Look at these things, how pretty they are. Look at the bottom, perfectly cooked. Watch this pull. Look at that. And like I showed you before, it's got some crooks and crannies to sob up that gravy with. Y'all gotta try these things. Let's taste them. Listen to this crunch. Mmm, man, that's good. Cheesy, cheesy, cheesy. You know what it tastes like to me? It tastes like those little goldfish crackers, or maybe like a cheese it cracker, but it's bread. I mean, they're all just beautiful. Your family will absolutely love it. Kids really love it. Cheesy cheese, it's real good. Y'all try it. Thank you for watching me today on Country Boy Cooking with Marshall Wood. Jesus is always Lord. I'll see y'all real soon.